A recent update to the Google Authenticator app is more than just a logo refresh. You now have the option to back up your codes to your Google account to protect against a lost or stolen phone. Is this good or bad? How easy is it to set up? And since I've been openly critical of using Google Authenticator in the past, does this change things? In the past, backing up your Google Authenticator codes was a somewhat complex process of exporting to multiple QR codes, saving those codes in some secure location, and then using them to set up the app on a new device. Now, if you go in and update to the latest version of Google Authenticator though, you'll now be given the option to back up your codes to your Google account. You see that little green check mark on the upper right? That means that the codes are now backed up to the Google Cloud. If my device gets stolen, lost, or if I need to migrate to a new phone, getting access to these codes is much easier than it used to be. And before we go over some of the security concerns, I wanna point out that it is still possible to use Google Authenticator offline without this backup. Simply click on your account avatar and find Use Authenticator Without an Account. That green check now turns into a gray cloud and you know that the codes are only available on this particular device offline. Here's the problem. Security researchers quickly discovered that these synced backup codes aren't end-to-end -end encrypted. Now, don't freak out here, okay? All the data in your Google account is still encrypted, whether at rest or in transit, but this just means that you share a key with Google. They have access to this data as well. Being truly end-to-end -end encrypted would mean that only you have the secret key to unlock the data, and in that case, there is no forgot password kind of help that Google can provide. You have to own your security. Now, a Google product manager did respond to these security concerns on Twitter to clarify, but also added that they do have plans to offer for end-to-end -end encryption down the line. I'm not sure how far down the line, but it is on the roadmap, it seems. So the question still remains, should you use Google Authenticator? And if so, should you use this new backup feature? Here's my answer. Google Authenticator is a good app. Now, if you hate big tech and can't imagine a scenario where you trust any Google product, then you probably disagree with me here, and that's perfectly okay. But for the average person who's just trying to add better security and has heard that SMS text isn't the best option, this Authenticator app is good. Do I recommend 2FA keys instead? Sure, but I know that some people either can't justify the added expense or they don't wanna figure out how to set it up. But should you use the backup feature? That answer is slightly more complicated. If I'm talking to my mom uh, or somebody else who needs better security but perhaps can't quite handle the responsibility of owning their own security keys, or maybe they don't even know what that means, then backing up with Google isn't the worst option in the world. I'd rather you have the peace of mind of a backup if the alternative is just not using 2FA at all. Now, for those of us with a slightly higher threat profile, I think backing up to your Google account is unnecessary as long as you're creating your own backups, either via a QR code in the Google Authenticator app or adding another form of 2FA on whatever account you're using. Personally, I've shifted away from using Google Authenticator, instead use a combination of Authy, uh, my YubiKey, and even one password for some of my codes. But whereas I used to really actively recommend against Google Authenticator, I'm much less strict on that now. I prefer the responsibility of owning my own security keys, but I recognize that not everybody shares that same desire. And if that's you, updating Google Authenticator and backing it up to your Google account is still a reasonable option for most people. I hope that made sense. If you need help understanding how to add codes to Google Authenticator, watch this tutorial here. And I just did a video about the new pass keys that are replacing passwords. So if you haven't seen that, Watch that next.